Hey guys, so BSG just posted out this photo, which basically shows that you do require less flea market rating in order to obtain the third flea market offer spot. So this photo on the left is the change that BSG made in patch 12.12 in an effort to battle against the RMT, the real money transfers that were going on via the flea market. So you did start at a 0.2 rep, which is still the same as what we're going to do now. And so we would initially start with two flea market slots. However, then they nerfed it so that you had to obtain 30 flea market rep in order to gain that third slot. And 30 flea market rep is equivalent to having obtained 150 million rubles through the flea market. And because we start at 0.2, then you can take off 1 million. So essentially we have to acquire 149 million through the flea market. And that's based upon if you don't have to relist something because it didn't sell, or if you remove something from the flea market, because both of the those actions do take away from your flea market rep. And as of today, like I said, this is the photo that they posted. So basically what they did was they changed the third flea market offer slot to seven rep instead of 30, which basically means that you only have to have sold $35 million worth of goods through the flea market instead of 150 million. And then they also did lower down the four slot to 60, which then makes it 300 million instead of the 350 million that you used to require in order to get the four slot. Now, last wipe, I did actually end up getting to the four slot before the big flea market change at the end of it, where there was basically no flea market fee whatsoever for what you were listing. So what I'll do is I'll share with you guys some of the tips that I used in order to obtain 70 flea market rep last wipe, and then get that fourth offer slot. And then you can put these to use in order to potentially push towards getting your own 30 rep this time, and then get the fourth slot, and then potentially even the fifth slot at 60. So now the 60 flea market rep or the 300 million rubles being sold through the flea market may seem daunting at first. However, some of the tips I'm going to give you guys are ones that I used last wipe in order to obtain the 70 flea market rep. And then I am not a person who plays this as a career or even every day. I just try to play it whenever I can. But when I do, I try to be as efficient as possible. Because unlike a select few, we don't have the ability to play this game for eight plus hours a day where this is not our career. So since that's not the case for a majority of people, then maybe some of these tips will help you guys to obtain your flea market rep goal or at least get you working towards it. So first I'll just show you guys, I do have a 7.49 flea market rep with three active offers. So the patch is already live. And then now I'll give you guys a couple of tips in terms of building up your flea market rep. So basically the biggest tip that I can give you guys is to sell everything that you find in raid on the flea market that you don't require to have as a found in raid status for a task. And that includes things that you may take a loss on because just think about it as the loss in terms of the flea market fee is a tax for working towards opening up another slot. And you will make that money back once you do open up the additional slots, then you'll have a lot more freedom and things will move a lot quicker. So just think about it in that sense. You may be losing a little bit of money now, but you will make it up in the long run. Think about it as playing chess and not checkers, essentially. And an example of these items would be items that you would typically just sell to the traders because it's quick and easy, such as Tetrises or any of these streamer items people usually just sell them right to therapist but if you take this battered antique book for example usually it sells for 39.7 and then you can come in here and then you can just buy any of these so i just bought those for 35 and then i go into therapist and then i'm going to sell those and then make 8,000 rubles essentially so a lot of people they will kind of do that in terms of scalping the flea market and then selling things back for a profit so if i was to list this for 39 then it would probably sell relatively fast because somebody will just pick it up and then sell it and then make that $700 for themselves. And then I'll lose a little bit on the flea market fee. But like I said, we're working towards something bigger. Now, another item is the Intel devices such as SSDs, SAS drives, SMT cassettes. These all sell to fence for pretty good money or you can list them on the flea market, take a little bit of a loss, and then you're working towards your flea market rep. Another thing that I do recommend doing is selling in bulk. Usually I'll work up to about 20 moonshine and then sell them all at once. So think about it as the mindset is when you go to buy something like a fierce hatchling moonshine, you are trying to get the cheapest item in order to save up to buy the thick case. And so if you are buying these in bulk, you go to purchase the item that's at the top of the list that is the cheapest, and then you are competing with everybody else in the world that's currently trying to get moonshine. You will over and over again get the item is sold out message. And so you have to think that if you are trying to buy in bulk, you can list a little bit more expensively because as you move down, this person is selling 18 of them for $4,500 more, which is going to net them $91,000 additionally because they are selling in bulk. And so you're more likely if you need to buy a whole bunch of them to go down and to just buy this one to avoid that message over and over again. So with that logic, then when you have built up a bulk of items such as Moonshine, then you can list them for a more expensive price because it's more convenient to the consumer. 
Another tip is to utilize your hideout because this is basically a money printing machine. So one thing that I will try and do is to hold and hoard my items that I craft throughout the week in order to sell them on the weekend because the prices usually fluctuate upwards on the weekend. And so I especially do this for my rip ammo. Sometimes I'll even fill an entire case of rip ammo in order to sell it on the weekend and then make a boatload of money. So another tip for you guys is that when you are crafting the hideout that in order to get the most benefit from leveling up your crafting skills that you have to alternate crafts so you can't just do the rip ammo over and over again you do have to alternate it with something say the wires so you can go wires then rip and then wires but you can't just continually do the same one over and over again otherwise you won't get the same benefit for leveling up your skills and so a lot of people use their water collectors in order to craft their super waters and then in turn use that to craft their moonshine i instead take this super water and then sell it on the flea market for over 100 150,000 rubles and by doing that then I always guarantee that I get 0.03 flea market rep every couple of hours whenever one of these is crafted and then I usually try and buy a super water for less than 150,000 rubles in order to use that to make my moonshine this way I end up coming out about even I end up losing a little bit but like I said we're looking at the big picture here and then at the end of the day it will be worth it once you open up additional slots so as you experiment with the hideout and then crafting and then selling on the flea market, then you will learn that some things are more profitable at the beginning of the wipe and then some things are better towards the middle and end of the wipe. And then you will also get comfortable and then find things that you can craft repeatedly and then throughout the entirety of the wipe, such as pile of meds or wires. These are two pretty good staples that will always basically make you money. But hopefully this guide was helpful to you guys and did give you a little bit more insight in terms of how to get more flea market slots and rank up your flea market rating, which in turn will make your life easier. And thank you all so much for stopping by and watching the video and have a fantastic rest of your day.